we're here at Le Manoir because um, I have my work displayed here in two of Raymond Blonde's bedroom suites. It's all wildlife art. My best known work is a black leopard, which has proved to be one of the really popular paintings. And um, Raymond Blanc saw it in um, a brochure show when I was doing a show in Oxfordshire and um, fell in love with it. It's all leading into an exhibition that I'm doing at my gallery in Wiltshire and Marlborough, um, which is opening tomorrow on the 20th of November. We've got the WWF coming along to do a talk on the conservation that they do um, for the tiger in particular, and we're raising 10% of the proceeds from my original paintings, drawings and prints of the work to go to that conservation work tomorrow. Um, I also am really lucky to have Chris Packham coming along. He happens to be the partner of Charlotte Corney, um, who is now running the Isle of Wight Zoo. She's the daughter of Jack Corney, who actually started off the conservation of the tiger at the Isle of Wight Zoo. And it was through her that I did all the research, and she was very kind to me for two, three days when I was out there drawing and photographing the tiger. It was quite an eye-opener to me of how expensive it is to run a zoo, especially in a recession. And, um, and with the extra vet bills that you have when the tigers are getting older, um, that the money needed for the zoo is, is paramount. So I decided through Charlotte helping me um, so much and seeing the work that she did, that that's what I wanted to do. I'd like to raise some money for their zoo. Only last weekend I sold my first piece for 15 I asked for 15,000 on this painting um, which is of some tiger's eyes close up and it's got the wording of the William Blake poem um, burnt the fire of thine eyes in the iris of the eyes. You will be um, hanging it in your gallery in Tame. There's only 50 uh, prints taken from this painting. We're raising 10% on the day for WWF but then after that we're raising £5,000 for the conservation of the tiger for the Isle of Wight Zoo.